you know, I'm not going to lie. When it comes to the past bro bros movement, I think a lot of these 304s and angry feminists and modern women are getting really angry because we're leaving the United States to find women that understands what we want in a relationship. There are a lot of people, not just women, but men as well, calling us bums and losers because we wanted to go overseas to find love, to be in a better relationship, to be happy over there than to be here because in America, it's just toxic. It's a lot worse than I thought because I felt like when it comes to love and relationships, everybody just breaks up with one another. A lot of divorce ways, I mean, a lot of divorce rates have been sky high and this is why a lot of men don't want to be married and at some point you got to come to grips and realize that they're just done. They're done. But I find it funny that a lot of the hypocrisy is coming from the passport bros and the quote unquote passport sets because they want to be just like us because we're more successful than they are because they want to sit up there and cry and call us all kinds of names when Lord knows when somebody gets a hold of their old videos of them going on vacation, especially Jamaica, and do God knows what, and then come back pregnant or whatever places that you're visiting and you're making your life a whole lot worse for yourself. So if you want to call us misogynists, I will advise you to look in the mirror and look up the definition of the word before you say something that it's going to regret. Who you love, who you want to be with, what you want to do with your life. You don't have to hate black women to love other women. But I want to show you that I found of her husband yeah, on her that's Instagram. Definitely her. And guess what? It's not a picture. It's a video. Oh, you no. Know what you're doing, doing, yeah, doing. I'm ready for it. Drop them bombs, dude. Let's go. Oftentimes, when it comes to us talking about foreign women, it's a lot of below the belt insults. Shout out to me, Marie. It's not really something that's yeah, like in things that are. She understands. Substance. Especially when it came to men exploring different options. A lot of the times we, we would say things like, Oh, that's because y'all are broke. BJ, nobody wanted y'all anyway. But every time I see and the AI from there, it's like, like there, a... that they're only <laughs> dealing with you because they're in poverty. Man, I want you to go watch episode three on Richie Mac's channel. But in that episode, Richie mentioned that the young lady that dominated the conversation actually Lord. made a response video. And Richie is so you can tell she looks like the type of feminist that just doesn't day like what we Mack do because he uh, was way nicer black than I ever would have been. And, and you know that showed. the days of us having conversations with these lovely ladies are over. We're not having conversations to them or through them. We're having it th around them. So, fellas, there is a lesson in this. But Richie said that she gave the most classy clap back that he had ever seen. Well, sir, Richie, I love you, man. But I beg to differ. I think she was extremely disrespectful. And uh, fellas, we're going to have some new marching orders at the end of this. So let's get it. So I recently did an interview with Zoom to Thailand. And honey, the people are mad. <laughs> I don't believe that just because I'm the woman, I got to sit in the house and cook and clean. If you notice, either that's her sister or her cousins was looking at her sour. It's like, bitch, what the hell is you talking about? Like, what is you saying? Because everything that's coming out of your mouth is complete sideways. Like, you're not talking, you're not telling us anything. You're just saying that you don't like the past bro bros because you want them to stay in America and deal with the nonsense. Why should we? Because that's exactly what she's trying to do during a Zoom meeting or a Zoom conversation with this brother right here. Sometimes I just feel like the hypocrisy coming from these feminists they want us to stay in america and continue to deal with the toxic mess while they're on vacation and doing what they want to do anytime when we set boundaries they call us insecure and scared because we're going to do something that is going to disrespect the relationship by talking to other men and dancing on them while 
you're in a relationship is considered cheating and disrespecting the relationship. So therefore, we have every right to create boundaries and if you don't like it, you can buy. We all need to sit in my house all day together. All right. Okay? Ain't no you get to sit on your ass, I'm tired too. All right, so no, it depends on the situation. Every situation is different. We're not taking a lot of at least to take before because the need <laughs> for men is not as high because women are making their own like, money. My man, why am I even here? She didn't have no choice. There was no way to go. Look, you can tell he's getting irritated too. Had to have you guys. You know what? I know you're getting tired of me on pause in the video, but I feel so I feel so bad for the brother with the dreads because you can tell he is fed up with this woman because she's talking a whole bunch of nonsense and she's not making zero sense whatsoever. And not to mention, you know, not to mention she's just talking just to talk. Like, if you're not willing to comprehend of what you're saying, then don't even say nothing, period. And it just seems like the more I listen to her talk, the more she's exposing herself. Because she's basically telling us everything we need to know. And she's telling on herself. And she just told on herself because she's tired too. Basically, admitted that she's a lazy bum that refused to help out the house. Well, even... Listen, we don't know what goes on behind our marriage, but I can tell when modern women say some of the dumbest stuff out of their mouths. Because anytime when they do say some dumb stuff out of their mouth, we can always use their logic against them. The Uno reverse card. Get it? To have you guys anymore. It is a choice. And everybody needs to be supported one way or another. Okay, now you just made my point for me. And this is no disrespect towards you. But what you just said is why we're leaving. Yeah, exactly. From Richie's video, she put that in her video. I did not edit that in. This is all her video. And basically, I she's mad because she got called I out. I'm glad that I did. Because That's there exactly are what it is. I would like to clarify because I think you guys have just taken a you know a sound bites basically uh -huh. from a two hour long interview. But that's what everybody does exactly. in media. From a two hour long interview. But that's what everybody does in media. I, I know that you want us to listen to you for two hours, but that's what everybody Not does. Really. Do you know how I know? <laughs> Do you know how I know, team? I know because her response video is over 30 freaking minutes. <laughs> <laughs> she really wants to make sure that you know what she has to say. Now, there are a couple. First of all, who makes a response video for over 30 minutes? Like, if you're making a video that is so long, it's getting to a point where it's becoming more and more boring. Because no matter what you say out of your mouth, it's going to always come out sideways. Because you're not really understanding what some of the stuff that you're saying doesn't make any sense. Foremost would be to my parents and my elders and also my children. These are people that I will not only love, I respect. And I never um, intended on them to see this video, right? So I do not cuss around my mother, Good. my father, or my kids like that. So, so hey, I'm the, the same way the too. The question, but... I have to ask the question, why as a woman do you cuss at all? It's so unattractive. If I get to the point that I, if like if I was single and had a romantic prospect with a woman and had a conversation with her, the very first thing that she can say to turn me off is a cuss word. So you don't cuss around your children, your parents, but your husband and other black men, I guess there's a hierarchy on the level of respect that you show people. Now the other I curse sometimes, but the only time I do swear is when I want to get my points across and my honest opinions on certain things and topics whenever I make videos, but I don't curse around my families, especially my mom or grandmother and anybody. But if it gets to a point where if I'm frustrated about certain things, I don't turn it up to the max. I don't go berserk. I don't kirk out. I don't go crazy. Like if I'm frustrated about certain things, I handle it in a mature matter you know there's a difference between going insane and swearing and handling the situation in a calm manner you know there's nothing wrong with swearing but you have to make sure 
that it makes sense when it comes to expressing your opinions and frustrations. You know what I'm saying? So, and these are this is and this is for the women that for some reason it felt like I was uh, attacking you or getting up on you. Mm. I wonder why they felt like she was attacking them or beating up on them. I wonder if she did anything that would make them feel that way. Let's find out. Like y'all want too much from a woman sometimes. Let's be real. Like that's crazy. Like, that's, that's crazy. You said it. It is. It's not crazy. But it's always been like that. Yeah, it's, and it's still crazy. That don't make it not crazy. But if it's not crazy, then why does it work in every other non-matrix-minded country? Why does it work? Look at that. Okay. She can't even answer it. That should tell you something. Let me make sure I got this right. Is this right? Yo. <laughs> Look at that expression, dog. Oh. Bruh, that face tells you everything I need to know, <sighs> bruh. I got it. You gotta ask her. <laughs> Look at how she looked at her. Bruh. Check this out. She looks so I don't know Drop what, Mo. One. Drop me a one in the chat if you've been to Thailand. But you've been to Thailand. Who knows? that you, it's illegal to not wear uh, underwear in Thailand, number one. Number two, you don't show Thai people the bottom of your feet. That is extremely rude. Number three, you don't tap a Thai person on the top of the head. In Buddhism, the top of the head is considered the closest thing to God. You don't touch the top of a Thai person's head. Number four, pointing like this mm. is very Don't do that. In Thailand. I don't like that. If Am I lying? Am I lying? So you ask why she might have been offended. Maybe, just maybe, it was this bullshit. But non-matrix-minded country, why does it work? You gotta ask her. That's why she cuts her eyes at you. Brilliant, her and her, uh, educated, the other lady. lovely lady. That's exactly That's embarrassing, why. bro. That's secondhand Brute embarrassment. In a mug in her what I don't understand is that a lot of these 304s, they think that they can just do whatever they want by going to other countries that that they know it's against the law for them to just bring out that bouginess, the ghettoness to their country. Like last year, there was a big story of what happened in Uganda where um, Megan Thee Stallion doing her Ratchet 304 show at a rap show and she invited all of these hood rats on stage twerking and shaking their thought pockets, making it seem like it's okay to do it, like it's cool. Then you got Sukiyana, I think in London, Talking about something, she went in to get, get her you know what stretch, like saying some provocative, disrespectful things. Like, it's like once you sold yourself to the devil, you sold your soul for evil to get fame and clout, just so you could do what you want to do by doing stuff like that on social media just to gain attraction. Like, no, people are not gonna respect you for that. Let me just say this all right. I love black women. I love women in general. I love women of all colors. Now, you know, I love black women. I come from a black mother. I come from, a, you know, a black family. But it's stuff like this that is turning me off about that. That is making me question their decision. And I'm not trying to talk bad about black women, you know, so I'm not trying to disrespect them or anything. But... If it's something that I don't like, I have every right to express my issues with that. So you can't sit there and tell me that I need to accept this and that because of how they were brought up. No, there's ways of improving yourself as an adult. The problem is, if you're not willing to do that, then there is no need to find a guy that is willing to be with someone like you if you can't change your ways if you can't take accountabilities for your actions then there is no point of us putting the ring on it it's all about accountability and like i said don't think just because you're from the u.s you can just go to any random country that certain laws are acquired that is not allowed over there and you can't just bring out that rashness to that country like that bra from uh, Houston when she was like a trucker. When she was held for God knows how long because of her, her irrational behavior. Slapping people all around because they didn't get your weight. 
Like, you cannot do that. And there's a reason why the passport bros exist. And it's that type of actions right there. And like I said, I'm not trying to disrespect y'all. You know I love my queens. But if you having that type of attitude and actions like that, then I have every right to call you out on it. Man, that's why your framing is bad in your video, but I'm just saying. Listen, you said you wanted to smoke. Anybody can get it and all this stuff. I'm just giving you a little bit. You're getting like 12%. Um, that's definitely not my intention. I'm a girl's girl. So I'm all about you women. You're a girl's girl, but, but you sure don't act like it. Tie, and you're married. The video. Um, I, she did leave, but I really don't think it had anything to do with her being offended by what I was saying because I think, I think it had something really to do with what, you what said. I was saying. Or understand that it wasn't about the women or them being wrong or doing anything bad. I ain't putting words in your mouth. This is what you said and you did. I mean, you gotta protect me one time out the year, maybe once in our whole marriage. But that one so that time can, be, can save your life. You gotta wash no damn dishes, you crazy. Listen. I didn't say that. Why, why, you, why you put words in my mouth? I didn't say that never I brought a dish. Look at her. Look, she over here laughing at Karen on because she knows that you sound cook, mighty clean, stupid. Take care of the kids. You see that? She is literally going to point past the black woman to the Thai woman and in a derogatory turn talk about cooking clean, bruh. And you wonder why you got the smoke you did. See, I've never brought a dish. Well, I said traditional role. Right. So she is laughing like on a what, bro? Clean, because she knows she sounds stupid of what she's saying. <laughs> it's like, I hate when modern women like this always say that, oh, I shouldn't be the one cooking and cleaning when the husband is doing everything in the house when you can't even be traditional and all of that. Like, that's what being in a traditional relationship and marriage just is about. You are like, you have a problem with it because we're overseas, the Philippines, Thailand, China, Japan, Canada, Africa, Jamaica, because their traditional relationships is respected than here in America. You barely see any of that. But now nah, you just talking off the storm and having an issue with it because you claim that Modern women at best. And there it is. Get a kids. As far as I know, me and her are good. We're a okay. I saw her a couple days later. She came pick me up. We went and had dinner. Um, we didn't even talk about the interview. I don't sure? believe that at all. Why the f you lying? Why? Why you always lying? I don't have any issues with Thai women. I actually had great experiences here with the Thai women. This conversation not even about the black men that date the Thai women. I've met plenty of them. All the men I've met here have been really cool as long and their girlfriends also or why. There's no hate in my heart about who you love, who you want to be with, what you want to do with your life. Cool. I say uh, more power to you, which I thought I said in the do video. Do you, boo? Um, do you my yeah. thing is like, you don't have to hate black women to love other women. This is something that I hear said all the time. You know that men hate black women and, and black men hate black women and I have It's even worse when Dr. Umar is coming out of his mouth saying that you dating a white girl is self-hatred. There is nothing self-hatred about a black man dating outside of his race. If it's something that he's into, then he has every right to be with that person. If that person is good to him, that is treating him like a king and he's treating her like a queen, then there's no issue with it. I hear this crap all the time when it comes to bitter women on social media calling us names because we don't want to date nobody like them. Maybe it's because if you act a certain way and act mature for your age while you're an adult, then you wouldn't be having this issue because you were the one that created the issue by talking trash about us because we decided to date whoever we want to date so you have no room to tell us who we can and can't date you bunch of hypocrites it's complicated interview you guys know it's complicated oh yeah i or, watched this video too the undesirable truth interview where any man is saying i hate black women i have not i've never seen Same. that where's the Same. proof 
especially, and she's talking specifically about men that date out. I do not hear any passport bro saying they hate black women. Have right. y'all heard this? Like, dead ass. Have you guys heard this? It was not about my relationship, and not about my husband. Okay, now listen. Y'all went in on her husband. Y'all went real, real far. Oh, you mother... <laughs> okay. She brought her husband in her clapback video. She brought him up. We're going to address it. I already accused you of capping. Let's see how far this rabbit hole goes. Let's go. But obviously, he edited that out. <laughs> it was okay. way more convenient and way more interesting to think that I was sitting there just blatantly disrespecting my husband. Again, it just goes. She said that. It doesn't make any even make sense to sit there and blatantly disrespect her husband, right? We did only get to see a small, small window. Based on his reaction of their alone in that video together. Yeah, it tells me everything. We only got to see that small interaction through the videos that Richie Mack has put out. But you know, your boy does his research, and I might have found something. But according uh -oh. to her, it it doesn't, it's written right there. It doesn't even make sense. For her to disrespect her husband, right? Goes with the narrative of disrespectful. I want to see what you dug up because I'm here for the smoke. Okay. Call him out. Maybe we prejudged. Maybe we jumped to conclusions. But still. Team, I found her Instagram. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> throughout the vastness here we and go. robustness of her Instagram, Buffness. her husband ain't in that except for one place oh, one place man. she has dozens upon dozens upon dozens of pictures but zero positive represent listen to what i said what a representation of her husband and this is why i ain't gonna lie she bad though but she's a hypocrite let's not forget y'all stay focused and having the conversations with them anymore look at that because they've convinced themselves that they're right I wish that we could have conversations with our women and kind of steer them back on the right path. I wish that was that the case. But you know that they are the most educated. I'm sorry, the most enrolled. Because when I die, buddy, you know what's going to keep me warm? That's right. Those degrees. But I want to show yeah. you the one instance. Uh oh, here we go. That I found of her husband on her Instagram. And guess what? It's not a picture, it's a video. Oh shit. This is our Oh my lady god right here that she put on her Instagram and she's dancing. Club looks like a white party. Bro, look at this. Bro, this one looks like he's either drunk or passed out. And look at her dancing like she a 304. Bro, I'm telling you, hypocrisy of Modern dating in society in 2024 is unreal. You can't make this up. Everything she said out of her mouth was completely BS. And shout outs to you, man. Like, I'm so glad that you brought this video out because it means that she was the one that was disrespected the marriage. Out here dancing with some guy in the club passed out. Shaking her thought pockets and carrying on. Bro. I'm telling y'all, every time I see haters of the Passport bro Bros be talking all that smack until somebody exposed them, this is the response that we're going to get. You cannot make this up. What is this? Now, I know her husband has dreadlocks. The guy here whose leg she is straddling does appear to not have dreadlocks. Yeah, that looks the like- The gentleman on the left side of the screen skull. appears to have dreadlocks. So do you mean to tell me, That's and I'm just saying, listen, and maybe this isn't disrespectful. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy as hell. Well, are you retarded? <laughs> but she <laughs> is dancing on another man with his leg that is betwixt very hers in front of her husband. Legs all over the current on. But what the hell do I know? Well, what do I know, man? Now listen, at least you got him on your Instagram. Since you want to. I mean, she just exposed herself clap at this back. point. You want to clap back, right? Okay. 
You had all that stuff to talk about the passport bros. Yeah. Strong and empowered and everything like that. And this is how you present. Mary. That's crazy, Duh, bro. If this was my wife, I don't care if that is her brother passed out and she's trying to make a funny video. You better not do no like that. You better don't. Ever. Like, what the hell do I know? Shut the hell up, El Guapo. Angry black woman fits the narrative, blase, blase, blah, whoop de whoop, right? And she's the biggest hypocrite of them all. I did not put all. any of this stuff on the internet, ma'am. You put it on the internet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you put it out there. And way more interesting to think that I was sitting there just blatantly disrespecting my husband again. Mm, that didn't you age did. well. <laughs> you did. You did know some other nigga in the club. Didn't age well. Let's go. And it just goes with the narrative of disrespectful black woman and how we treat our men. You're not doing that right now. Look, the nigga in the couch ain't even That's interested. That's a good look at him, though. I don't think- Bruh, the dude in the couch is not even that interesting in her. She's blatantly doing all of that dancing on a guy that is not even interesting. He looks either drunk or passed out. Because imagine if a man did this to a woman on social media, he would have been called a creep, a pedophile, and a rapist. He would have been in handcuffs, and he would have been in jail with multiple charges. And yet, when women do stuff like this, There is no repercussions and no accountability for women like this whatsoever. Double standards. But again, in the interview, I was not talking about me or my husband. But again, Rich is not my man. He can get this smoke. Okay. Yeah, whatever hey, you that's say. Big bro, yo. Rich ain't coming by himself. Let's get I it. I said in the interview, I was not talking about me or my husband. We are good, okay? And I'm not um, and arguing with strangers that, about that, okay? Yeah, you kinda are. He doesn't give off the vibe of, oh, I wanna disrespect this simp, like, you won't even. The fellas don't want anything with your husband, man. You're the one disrespecting him. All we're doing is telling the truth and everybody sees it. The truth is, ma'am, we probably want better for your husband in that respect category. Yeah, man, he deserves then better, he man. Shout out to the brother for this video. Listen, man, at the end of the day, fellas, this is going to come, listen, this is going to come a time when you spot a 304 in your life that is willing to disrespect and ruin the relationship. Because if she doesn't like the boundaries that you're setting, she can leave. Because I'm telling you, women these days, do not like men when it comes to setting boundaries. They must think that the world should always respect and accept their behaviors, bad choices, and bad decisions they're making. If somebody is not held to these three or four accountable, then there's going to be more issues and problems to go. Because I'm telling you, five or ten years from now, they're going to end up being single, shot, you know, transfer list fatherless because of their poor decisions and let's not forget feminism is what's ruining society and as for the system the video yeah you take this l you can stop the cap and stop lying to yourself because now i feel like you're not only disrespecting your husband you disrespected the marriage and you disrespected the relationship you're talking all that trash about the past bro bros and look what you're doing Now you make it make sense. So, link to the original video will be down below. I'm going to catch y'all on my next one.